Hey guys, Mike in Bell 556 here, and today what we want to do is look at the Titan Defense TD415 upper receiver. This is basically a clone of the HK416, it's American made. And what I'd like to do is compare the Titan Defense clone to the original H and K416. We'll look at the upper overall and then the individual parts. If you want to see a Titan Defense 415 upper run, you can refer to a video we did with this particular firearm. This is a 14 inch Titan Defense upper on my registered receiver M16 with the SJC Titan muzzle brake and compensator. You can click on the link up above and you can see this upper receiver running in semi and full auto fire. Feel free to take a break, look at that video if you want to see it in operation and then come back and we'll review the details of the Titan Defense and compare that to the H&K product. So let's just look overall at the fit and finish of the Titan Defense. This is a 16 inch upper. I just received this. Um, this is purchased uh, off of Gunbroker. If we look at the details of the fit and finish, there's a significant difference between the original H and K 416 upper. As far as just the quality of the machining, you can certainly see a difference looking at the details. The handguard itself is a lot more finely machined in the H&K product, but there again, the original H&K 416s are very difficult to come by and they're very expensive. And so let's look at the details about how closely Titan Defense cloned this H&K product when they made their Titan Defense 415 upper, and we'll compare each individual part. Let's start with the barrel. Titan Defense uses a stainless steel barrel that's black oxide. Now on the H&K 416, the barrel is a hammer forged barrel. It's chrome lined, basically a military barrel. This particular model is the 14 and a half inch model. For some reason, Titan Defense either makes a 14 or a 16. This happens to be the 16 model. The video shows the 14 inch model running on the registered full auto lower. If we look at the details of the gas block, you can see that it's a fairly close clone to the original. This is the H and K gas block. Now on the 14 and a half inch model, H and K uses a gas vent in their gas block and the Titan Defense has no gas vent. The gas cup has piston rings on the H&K model and there are no piston rings used in the Titan Defense model. We'll look at that when we take these guns apart and look at the details. The hand guards, basically it's just a reversed engineered copy of the hand guard. The machining once again is not nearly as fine as you see with the German product, but it's a fairly close copy. There's been some talk on the internet about the hand guards being higher on the Titan Defense model versus the H and K model. These hand guards will measure right now and find out. They look like they're interchangeable and exactly the same height. So I'm not sure where that rumor came from, but let's find out if that in fact is true. 2.67 inches. Point seven zero. So there is a very, very slight difference about three hundredths of an inch difference in the height. So if you were going to try to change out the um, the hand guards, what you would find is that the German hand guards would not be flush 
with the top of the Titan Defense by about three hundredths of an inch. So there is a very slight difference in the overall height of these upper receivers. So we have confirmed a three one hundredths of an inch difference. Otherwise, they're very much uh, just a reverse engineered copy. Now, let's look at the insides of these guns. We'll take the... Uh, German bolt carrier. This gun has been uh, shot. This upper receiver has been shot by me. This is an early upper receiver. They had not installed the firing pin safety in this particular H and K upper. I do have another 10, 10 inch, 10 and a half inch barrel upper that does have the firing pin safety. The machining quality is is just very high on this. It's very slick. No machining marks. I have put the roller type of cam pin just as an upgrade in this H and K upper. And we'll look at the bolt carrier that comes in the Titan Defense. This has a uh, nickel Teflon type of finish on the bolt carrier. The machining looks uh, certainly adequate. It, uh, it doesn't look as finely machined as the German product, but then that's about what you would expect. Looking at the details of the design, the skis on the back are a little bit different. You can see that the German bolt carrier has a long ski on the back as opposed to the bolt carrier in the Titan Defense. They both come with a, a full auto. That is, if you get the German 416 upper, it'll have a full auto bolt carrier. You can see that the firing pins are different uh, between these two bolt carriers. You have a cone-shaped rear on the firing pin. Um, once again, this was a early 416 that did not have the firing pin safety. Um, this is the bolt carrier that's out of the 10.5 inch 416 upper. This is a uh, later edition where they added the firing pin safety. You can look at the details of the bolt carrier with the firing pin safety right here. The original early 416 that does not have a firing pin safety. It has a free floating firing pin like the M16s. And then the Titan Defense which has a cone shaped firing pin, but it is a free floating firing pin. So let's look at the, uh, let's look at the details of these bolt carrier groups up close. So here are the three uh, bolt carrier groups that we're looking at today. This is the Titan Defense with the uh, Teflon type finish on this. This is the early H&K 416 full auto bolt carrier group that does not have a firing pin safety. And then the later 416 H&K bolt carrier group after they added the firing pin safety. You can see the differences here. So now let's just take these apart and look at the internals and see how they differ. Dimension wise, it looks like the bolt carriers would be interchangeable. You have a firing pin spring in the Titan Defense. A standard looking cam pin and a modified bolt head. In the German 416, 
the originals had a modified firing pin that's similar to, but not exactly like, a standard M16 firing pin. I put the roller type cam pin, aftermarket cam pin, in the H and K. You can see the bolt head is a very different design from either the original M16 AR15 bolt head and it's very different from the bolt head that's found on the Titan Defense model. We pointed out also the skis are different on the back of the bolt carrier between these two. And then the upgraded firing pin safety 416 bolt carrier group. The firing pin is once again different between the early 416s and the later 416s. A firing pin spring has been added. Once again, I did use the aftermarket cam pin and the models with the firing pin spring, the bolt carrier, I mean the bolt head has once again been modified to accommodate the firing pin safety mechanism. So we have three different, slightly different designs. Now, obviously you can't mix and match the bolt carrier with the bolt heads between these three different designs. But I think that if you had a complete bolt carrier group, the external dimensions that are critical, which mainly would be the interaction with the piston drive rod and the distance between this interaction point and the front of the bolt carrier, those distances will check. If those distances are the same, then complete bolt carrier groups should be interchangeable. So from the front, of the bolt carrier group, one point two seven. Let's see how close that is. That's good. Okay. So all of these if you had a complete bolt carrier group, I think you would be able to interchange these. Is What we found is that the internals for each of these, the Titan Defense, the early 416, and the later 416, the internals are slightly different for each of these. So, we'll reassemble these, and then we'll talk about the drive rod system and the hand guards, and we'll look at the details of those. One thing I would like to comment on as I'm reassembling these bolt carrier groups. Um, it's hard to get across on the, on the video, but when I put, for example, this piston head in this bolt carrier, it is so finely machined, it, that action just feels like it's on ball bearings. It is just, it, it's hard to appreciate unless you're feeling it. But the machining of the German bolt carrier group parts is just really high quality very like like the Swiss guns it's just a very precise a very high quality um, the Titan defense is you know rougher machining and you can actually just kind of fill a little play and and wiggling um, in between the bolt head and the bolt carrier now you know obviously having some play kind of like the AK-47 if you have uh, less precision, sometimes you can have a more reliable weapon system, um, less likely to foul up and gum, but, but you have to appreciate just the fine quality machining that goes into the German engineering when they put these 416 uppers together. 
it's it's really just very nice okay now let's look at the hand guards this is the German 416 and the Titan Defense TD 415 this is designed to be able to use a shell casing these slots are cut a little bit differently. I think you still could use a shell casing here. Both of these have a design so that once they get loose, they have a little knurled edge, you can easily handle those without a tool. This is captive on the H and K design. And let's see about this one. Feels a little rougher as far as uh, unscrewing it, which is not a surprise. Now the Titan Defense splits the back of their hand guard as opposed to the German. So their theory here is that it can more effectively clamp down on the barrel nut, making it a little bit more secure. Also, this is captive, so this bolt won't come out. We'll take the German hand guard off and the Titan Defense hand guard. Isn't coming out as easy. Okay, so we have the Titan Defense and the German H and K with their respective hand guards. You can see the contour differences. This is an M4 contour, 14 and a half inch barrel, has that heavy SOCOM type profile under the barrel with cutouts for the M203 or for a, a flats for a wrench I guess you could use that for. The Titan Defense on this particular upper has the M4 cutouts at 16 and a half inch and it has a an A2 or a thinner uh, style profile underneath the hand guards. You can see that the barrel nut on the Titan Defense has texture in the back as opposed to the German barrel nut. The drive systems, if you look at them, they look fairly similar. The springs, the, the spring on the German gun appears to be a little uh, finer. The gas blocks, once again, an unvented gas block on the American-made clone versus a vented gas block. Otherwise, they appear to be pretty closely uh, uh, reverse engineered. And take the drive rod out of the German gun. So there's the German drive rod drive rod out of the Titan Defense and just kind of compare the, the drive rod assemblies. These look like they would be absolutely interchangeable. I don't really see much difference at all except the spring. Uh, this spring looks a little thicker and coarser compared to the German spring. And uh, once again, the machining is a little bit finer on the German product. Can't uh, really comment on the materials themselves, but basically a, a reverse engineered copy of the drive rod assembly. Now we'll look at the gas cups. You have 
the German gas cup and the piston drive system. You have three gas rings, similar to what you would see in the bolt head of an AR-15. These are, I'm sure, considerably different, but they will make a seal inside the cylinder that's a part of the gas system. This is uh, chrome plated, hard chrome plated. And once again, this is a vented system. The gas cup on the Titan Defense. Take these up and compare them. Similar, but the dimensions, uh, the tip on this seems a little bit, is, is in fact a little bit longer. This is the part that goes up into the, the vent hole. That's part of the gas block of the German design. So the designs are a little bit different. The, this looks uh, thicker. Let's just measure this and see. It seems like we have gas rings here and a, and a narrower body of the, of the piston. Let's just check that real quick. So the German design piston cup is 0.392, the body of it, and I would guess this is going to be bigger, and it is 0 0.4398, 398, okay, so slightly fatter. And this is designed so that the whole body is just a snug fit. When you, when you slide this in and out, it feels like there's a vacuum being created in there. Once again, it is non-vented. And what I found in my 14-inch upper is that this system runs a little bit over-gassed. And with uh, some ammunition, you'll get bolt bounce and full auto. With the lower power, cheaper ammunition, it runs very well in full auto. Okay, so, so there's some design differences, and so uh, you obviously, let's just show this, but I'm pretty sure this, well, that fits, and there's some wiggle room here, but, uh, but I would say that uh, because of the design differences, these parts aren't directly interchangeable. Um, you can take, the, let's see, the German piston cup with the rings, and it, no, it, it's, it fits, but certainly because of the design differences, these parts wouldn't be interchangeable. I think you need a piston cup that's designed to go with the gas block if you use the, the Titan Defense System versus the German HK System. I think the drive rod assemblies, you could probably interchange these without any problem if you, if you so desired. Now the hand guards, we measured these, and remember we said there was a little bit of difference in the um, the height of these I'm not sure we can show that very well um, but the Titan defense if you look at the details the machining is much more precise on the German product versus the American clone it's a you know fairly cosmetic difference but the American Titan defense handguard was a little taller and so if you tried to put for example the American handguard on the German upper what you see is that there is a little bit of rise and mismatch so the handguard is three tenths, no, three hundredths, I'm sorry, the handguard will be three hundredths of an inch higher than the rail on the upper receiver itself. So even though they fit, they're not an exact match. They, they would be functional, but the handguard height would not match the receiver height. But they, they would fit and function.
Now of note, put these back together. Okay. Um, once again, it's kind of a neat design. It's similar, very similar to the original HK416, but there are some differences in the gas piston and the gas block, and there are some significant differences um, regarding the internal parts on the bolt carrier group, but it's a very close copy to the 416 and considerably more affordable. These are actually uh, going now on Gunbroker for about $600, $650, as opposed to very, very uh, scalping type high prices for the original German uppers, which are very rare and very hard to come by. So once again, we have the cross bolt on the hand guard. It's going to go in this groove in the barrel nut. Same sort of design with the Titan Defense. Difference is there's some texture cut into the barrel nut as well as a split on the bottom of the hand guard so that there can be some increased tightening and snugging against the barrel nut. So we'll show just uh, putting these back on now. This is the German HK416 with the SOCOM 14 and a half inch style barrel. Hand guard goes in, the cross bolt slides through that groove on the barrel nut, and then you can hand tighten it. And then you can use an empty casing or round to, um, to finish tightening this. If we just hand tighten it, there's a little tiny bit of play, but there's this key and cutout that keeps it secure. So even though you might get a little bit of side to side play, um, it's still going to be fairly secure. And certainly the handguard won't come off, but you can use a, uh, a tool or a round to tighten this. And then once it's tightened, there is no perceptible play in the handguard. Now the Titan Defense, on slides in cross bolt not quite as smooth it feels a little bit more gritty as far as just hand tightening it when we hand tighten it that feels very secure now even just hand tightening so I think this cutout certainly probably makes a difference and it's very secure now. So I think certainly um, for the money, if you want a similar design and look to the 416 upper, the Titan Defense is, is a reasonable option. If you can uh, find one of these on the market, the uh, price is certainly a lot more palatable than what you'll have to pay for one of the original H and K 416 uppers. Once again, if you haven't seen the video and you want to look at um, this 14 inch 416 upper running full auto, um, I would say that what I did was take a German vented gas block and I put the German vented gas block on the Titan Defense barrel. Um, if this was over gassed, it would run fine with low powered ammo, but I would have to change to a heavier buffer if I wanted to use standard military grade ammo. And uh, what I would see in full auto is occasional bolt bounce and the round would not go off. And so what I did was put the vented gas block on thinking that that would help uh, lower the pressure, the impulse. And in fact, it did make it a lot more reliable with a wider variety of ammo. This would not be an issue, I think, with semi-automatic fire but it does help a lot to have the vent with full auto fire or you could just change out the buffer. I hope you found the information interesting and useful. If you did, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing to our YouTube channel. If you have any questions or comments, please post those under this video and we'll try to respond to those in a timely fashion. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.